All right, what is good, y'all? Something crazy for today. Top anime opening of Winter 2024. Basically a tournament, you know. Um, I'm a little distracted by this. This AIS Nami in the right corner. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, put some respect on the queen. I don't appreciate that. Regardless, right here, we have, I think, a good 32 choice, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully, none of the main ones, uh, at least the most popular ones, which I want to see, were left out. But, like, I don't have an official list for this. And I probably would miss some of my damn self and have no one to blame if I made it myself. So, like, <laughs> hey, if anybody wants to start making these to make sure I get almost everything, aside from like some super relevant ones uh, in the future, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could ever, you know, you could hit me up with your ubu fufu head ass list in the comments. Um, I do have links blocked, but I'll just go into my hidden comment section and like enable them for you guys. But uh, yeah, that being said, of course, I like when you guys want to see some more like this, subscribe, all that. I don't do this too often, but uh, you know, I'm trying to give it a shot if y'all want to see it. With all that being said, man, you're going to get straight to it. Also, my nose is beating my ass, so uh, <laughs> you got to excuse me. We're going to kind of not rush this video, but like get over with quickly because like I I'm I'm suffering right here. All right. So first up, we got Shangri-La Frontier opening two versus this is the um that shit called the uh, seven deadly sins continuation or spinoff or something like that now a lot of these i am going to watch them again uh e even the ones i'm very familiar with like you know what i'm saying so leveling opening shit like that uh just do the fact you know i want it to be a fair competition but i do have to cut a lot of it so i don't know how to edit this but anime companies have been on my ass every fucking day copywriting stuff so sorry there's a whole bunch of edits that being said though you know what I'm saying? let me check out the shangri la frontier opening again and see how i'm feeling about this I just realized I said again? I have not seen this. What the? Okay, hold up, hold up. Nah, this shit is moving. I like it. Okay, I feel like the beat drop in this one fits uh, a little bit more than the, the first one. Even the beat drop was fire for the first one, like I said, but uh, I don't know if like this is like super fitting with the song. It's a little less jarring for me. Wait, 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 the sword slash incorporated from the fucking visuals in the beat? Oh, nah, they cooked, they cooked. Oh, they cooked, what the f Okay, I won't say that was something insane or nothing like that, but that was pretty good. I don't think I'll make it to the final, but I can see how far it'll go. That, that was clean, I like it. Okay, now this one, I'm not even sure if I've seen this either. I feel like there's a lot of openings that I didn't even realize I missed, that I might have missed for uh, winter, so, you know, let me check these rents out. Okay, this one's a vibe. I don't know if it's gonna be the Shangri La one, but it's smooth. I like that. Bro, I had to blow my nose like five times in the process of just watch these two open. <laughs> but uh, I'm not gonna lie, the the Nanatsu no Taizai. What's the English version of that name? I don't know. Y'all gotta let me know in the comments. Uh, that joint is pretty alright. It's a good opening, but it's not really that much for me. I definitely have Shangri La Frontiers opening two over it. You know, not just me though. You go crazy. Oh shit, we got Furin versus Apocalypse 3 Diaries? Why do you put, man, this happened last time I think in the tournament too. They always put the most crackhead openings right next to each other like the second time, uh, right off the bat. This is crazy. Let me check these out again though, let y'all know. Let's see. Nah, this should just bring a smile to my face, bro. Beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, opening one had so much potential and it was still good. I liked it more over time, but this one, I'm not gonna, I think it's just a lot better. Like it's way more consistent for me, like, Visuals and songs hitting. That's just me though. That shit is dope. That shit is mad dope. I messed with that heavy. All right, Apocalypse Three Diaries. I actually only still listen to this the one time. Uh, I checked it out with you guys during the seven random anime opening. So it'll be interesting to hear it again after like I think it's been about a month now. Let me check this out right now. Oh my god, this thing is so beautiful, man. Not gonna lie, since I've seen like half of Fern though, and I do love the characters, and I don't really love the show like that, I am a little biased towards it. It's a little more. Yeah, I still really like this opening a lot, but I'm gonna definitely have to go with Friends. I don't know. It just hits for me. I, I'm assuming it's because I know Freer and Historic Fern, all of them, you know, it just be like that. And Ubul, she bad as a bit. Oh my god, the copyright got one of these struck. Uh, well, sorry, y'all. I don't know if this is a fire opening, but I guess we're not gonna find out here. I don't know which Isekai this is either. I don't know. Cotton Days? That sounds kind of crazy. It's a little racist. It's like, now let me show. But uh, we'll just pass this one to the next round and then let's see what we got after the. Bro, what's up with the copyright? That's what I be telling y'all, man. One Piece opening is fire as a bitch, though, anyway. So, we'll pass that up ahead. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so annoying. That's crazy. I'm going to start checking out these even sooner. 
Holy fuck, how many have to get past the next round because something's copyrighted? Okay, there we go. You can't put the two best ones debatably, literally. It, I hate when this shit happens. There's no way this was randomized. There's no, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's insane. National opening two versus soul leveling opening one. Like this supposed to be some finale, you know what? It's gonna be a hard choice. Let, let me check these out again and see. I think I know which one I'm gonna go with, but I, I gotta double check, man. I just gotta let it be fresh in my mind, like especially because I've been watching Soul Leveling every day. I mean every week. Uh, you know, what I'm saying <laughs> on the Patreon, I'm crazy link in the description. Uh, but Mashal, I haven't been checking out, but still, you know, both characters look pretty fire. Let's see. I feel like it's a battle of honestly, which one just hits harder between this one's song being Gallier and Soul Leveling visuals being Gali. It's crazy because both of them have fire songs and visuals, but like just obviously each is strong in their own department more. Bling, bling, bling. <laughs> nah, but the thing is, the visuals grow on me even more and more as I watch it. Like, it was never bad, but like, it just gets better and better every time. I don't know what it is, man. Yeah, this this has the potential to be opening the year, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it will be. I can see something possibly surpassing it. Uh,. You know the song definitely. I don't know if anything was about the song, but overall as a combination, I can see them passing it. But uh I don't know, man. Creepy Ness is just undefeated right now. But also, you know what I'm saying? We got Sawana on the track, and the visuals for this shit was crazy. Shouts out to uh who who made this again? A1? A1 went crazy on this shit. Actually, I don't even know if they they made the animation for this opening, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see though. Juhi is such a wife, man. I need to see more and more of her. We have the, the past episodes to be fair though. Holy shit, this looks so fucking fire though. Oh my god, it's so peak. Holy fuck, this shit is sick. Like, look at the, the choreography, bro. Oh my gosh, this shit is peak. I'm not gonna lie though, it's not fair. This could have easily made it to the final round. I, I gotta go match the opening too though. It's just something about it. Not even something about it. Why am I acting like it's all mysterious and shit? This shit is a banger. It just is like, I don't know, maybe it's biased because of creepy nuts, but it just, it just peak like. So leveling opening one got ho they did going up against some asap like bro this is just not a competition to be honest all right next we have ishore opening one which i remember this uh i need to watch it again for sure but that drone was pretty fire if i'm not mistaken and aku yaku reju level 99 i have not seen this at all so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's check it out i'm gonna check out this one first actually hold on why this song kind of fire it's, it's sadly muffled a little bit the quality's kind of ass of the song but i'm gonna try and ignore that Nah, this hitting way harder than I expected. What the fuck? This song, bro. Oh, it's by Mayu M Mashima. I might be a fraud for this. Isn't she uh, the solo artist? Well, one of them from uh, Mythenroid? Okay, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. She's literally, this is basically Mythenroid. And you know Mythenroid is like literally top three. I'm not gonna, oh my God, that's so big. Okay, that? Dude, actually, I'm about to go, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna actually pause the video for just a second. I need to go listen to the actual high quality version of that song, cause that shit sounded golly, and that was while I was getting hold. I don't know what that muffled ass shit was. Uh, just, just give me one sec, y'all. I gotta check that joint out, the full version, cause geez. Nah, why is their beat selection always so fire too? Like, go crazy, oh shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like song wise, that might be top three, maybe five, like, at least top five songs I've heard for the season for sure. That drain me. I'm just a Mythenroid fanboy though, bro. Mayu Mashima, Mishima. I'm not used to seeing them as solo artists, that's why I'm not very familiar with her name. Uh, you know, I know she did Re Zero opening four recently. What else was there? Well, I guess I wouldn't call it recent. It's been a couple years now, but uh, yeah, a few other bangers. I'm just like, holy shit, Mythenroid. Yeah, that's an appearance. Oh man, I need more from them, bro. Like, whether it's together or solo, like that shit always hits. The visuals, they were cool. I did like them, but they weren't nothing crazy. I could see this getting beaten eventually once it gets to the name gritty you know what i'm saying the really hard hitters but uh, i don't know that song is p let me check this joint out again Ishra, i remember this being really fire so um who knows this surprised me how i compare the two but yeah this joint's heat i messed with it the song is pretty damn good i don't know if it's better than the other one for me but visually of course obviously this shit's better like this shit is nuts yeah that's a fire's opening but i'm not gonna lie it just it just gotta lose this i don't know this aku yaku song it just too nuts man like, I don't know why this version is so muffled. It's not doing it justice. This shit is he. This shit is he. Holy fuck. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. Love or hate? Question mark. Interesting. All right. Ooh. I don't know what. Kekon, Yubiwa, Monogatari, uh, opening one versus 
Mato no Slave. This one, I remember, it's like on the more generic side, but I actually liked it a lot, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, when I checked it out for the first time, it was kind of hidden. So let me check it out again. We'll see how the two uh, match up against each other, but I'm pretty sure I can see this winning. I remember liking this quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know. The vibe for the joint is hidden. Not nothing crazy, but I like it. I could definitely see myself never see up in this opening while watching the show. But I could see it being beaten if this joint is fire. So let's see how I feel about this. Uh, what does Monogatari mean in Japanese? Because I've seen that for so many things that aren't the Monogatari series. Hold up! Whoa, this shit already has a crazier start by like miles. I, I did not see that coming. This joint gives me heavy fade vibes. Like I know I said for a few things, but heavy. Not from like song to, to the characters. Well, not this dude, but like at least the girls look like fake characters a little bit to me. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This one might win over the other one. This this is heat. Holy fuck. Nah, the harem is insane. I didn't even peep that to last second. <laughs> it's so fire though. That was fucking heat. I'm not gonna lie. I messed with the Masa No Slave opening, but like, I think I gotta go with this one. I don't know how far this joint will make it, but that was actually hella surprising. That joint, like, off oh, rip was banging, bro. Okay, now we got the Shaman King opening, which I have not seen. Oh, this is a full one. I'm gonna have to look on YouTube and see if I could find the regular version. Make it fair. Then we have the Yubi Sok Saki to Ren Ren opening. Okay. This guitar is mad beautiful, man. This shit got me in trance right now. Yeah, this is dope. This is a vibe. I mess with it. I will say it's not like 100% up my alley, this opening, but I still like it. So I could definitely see it surpassing the Shaman King opening if I just think it's kind of eh. But I actually have to look this joint up uh, on YouTube, see if I can find the actual version of the opening. So just give me one sec. Okay. Hold up, this, this is a strong start, I kind of fuck with it. Hold up, no, this shit is kind of crazy. Okay, they cooked, hold up. I will say that the beginning was a little more hype for me, but this is still cool as hell. I like this. I think this is going to win over the other one. I ain't gonna lie, it did start to get kind of a little more mid near the end. Like, it wasn't bad, but I was just like, the beginning had me with more hype. But I still will say, I think that wins over me for the, um, I think it's actually Side of Affection. That's the English version name of this. Uh, I think it wins over that. Oh my God, my allergies, man. Jesus. All right, next we have, wrong way to use healing magic. Have I seen this? I, yeah, I did, I did. Um, I'm gonna have to check it out again though. And this is, Jaku Shara, no, I'm not even gonna try to say the whole name. Let's just <laughs> let's just get into it, bro. All right, let's see. Yeah, I remember this being cool. I think I like this one part that's about to come up. If not mistaken. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, this is the part I was like, this shit hard as. Yeah, that's a pretty hard opening. I could see it losing pretty uh, easily if I'm being honest, but you know what I'm saying. I could also pass it on if I don't like this opening at all. So let's see what this drink's about. This song, it's got a lot of energy to it. I like it. Holy shit, these characters look generic, though. Okay, hold on. I, hold on, hold on. It's kind of hidden. Okay, nah, I like the sequence right here, though. This is heat. This is heat. Yeah, this song is really heat. It carries a little too hard, though. I don't know about the visuals. Like, it's not bad. I like what they did with the whole, uh, you know what I'm saying, little hook. When everybody's hopping on the screen. But other than that, I don't know. As an opening... If I watch the show, I can see it be more vibe, but I don't know. I don't really hit it that hard. But I definitely might check out the full song on Spotify, because that shit's not kind of heat. But I'm going to go with uh, Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic with this. All right, and next we have uh, High Card Opening 2 got copyrighted. Whatever. That shit was heat. I don't think it would have made it like to the final, but it definitely would have made it high. Damn, y'all. Okay, and now next we have, what's this called again? Uh, The show everyone's fiending over. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna call it Babita's book bag. I ain't forget. What, was this sh what is this called again? Like, see, oh yeah, dangers in my heart. Okay, and then we have also Psycho Tank No Make Yo Koryaku 9999. What's up with all these shows and being level 9999 these past few seasons? But hey, let's check these out again. Let's see. Yeah, this is really well done. I really like this. I ain't gonna say it's one of my favorites of the season, but it's definitely so valid. That shit bring a smile to my face. I can't lie. I can't lie. That shit's heat. For sure. All right, now let's check out this other joint and see what it... What did I just say? This other joint and see what it got going on. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even showing footage of that. If you liked it, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? You're valid. It's not like the worst thing ever, but compared to... Dangers in your heart, or whatever the fuck they call this shit again. Uh, that was painfully mid. Like, I ain't gonna call it ass, but that that was like, 
I don't know. That, I don't know. It just felt disrespectful even being in this list. I'm not gonna hold you. That shit was ass. It's like now let me tell me it's not ass, but it just made um Momochi San Chi no bro, where's the English names? I feel you though. Some of these do need Japanese names. You know, sometimes the Japanese name is tough, but like I feel like I I've seen half these titles, just the English version, not this. Anyways, let's check out these two. Let's see. What is this? Infinity Castle opening? <laughs> Bruh. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Uh. The gas in. What's this beat drop sound like? Had a bit anticlimactic, but still, still really cool. I ain't gonna take too many points off of that. Yeah, that's a pretty hard opening. I can see this being a huge vibe for a lot of people. I mean, it's just alright for me, but I do like it. Yeah, I can see it losing though if this is better. Let's see. Oroko no Tenshi wa Akuma no Street Fighter to Odoru. God damn, it's a long ass name. Hold on! Wait, yo, these instrumentals are crazy! Nah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not trying to gas that up super hard, but I think the sorry one just off this beginning part. I like it a lot. <laughs> nah, this song is heat. Nah, the visual does anything too. I like this. I like this a lot, bro. This shit's heat. It doesn't even look like it'd be a big anime. Okay, what, what what's going on on my screen, bro? What? <laughs> oh, what was that right there? That it should have been only hit right there, but I'm not. That was heat. This this for sure nags out of the one. I ain't gonna lie. This joint could for sure go up. All right, next let's see what we got. Oh shit, Metallic Rogue versus Delicious in Dungeon. I I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna watch them again just in case, but like, I remember Delicious in Dungeon opening being okay. I remember thinking it was alright, but like, Metallic Rogue's opening was pretty fire and really unique, so I doubt it's gonna beat that, but let me listen to them again just in case. Yeah, the song is pretty soothing. I, I get the appeal, but I don't know, man. Bump of Chicken, I'm just really realizing that I don't think that I don't like them that much as an artist, to be honest. They're not bad, but I just, I don't know, it's not for me. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, like not necessarily like I'm super distraught by that opening. You know what I'm saying? It's a alright opening. You know, this is a vibe. I feel it. But uh, bump of chicken. I'm not gonna lie. I think this is one of the few artists that like literally. I don't know. I don't think they're like terrible or anything. But they're like considered an iconic artist. Everybody fucking loves them. I just don't really. It don't really hit for me. I just feel like there's other like soothing artists out there with like you know nice vocals, shit like that. Just you know what I'm saying? Moving on the beat, like, and I don't know. They just hit more for me. Like I just. I don't know. I don't even know which artist I would compare to them off the top of my head. I kind of want to say some Vondi songs, but like, I feel like that gives off the wrong. Because like, Vondi's a little more upbeat, so some of y'all gonna be able to get on my ass for that. Like, Bumpa Chicken is not like Vondi. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like male artists that are very soothing with their voice and just chill. Can't think of any off the top of my head, uh, but I don't know. I just kind of like other people that do stuff like this a little better. But you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to Bumpa Chicken. You know, if you like it, if you like it, I feel you. But this Metallic Rogue opening, this shit is low key. I don't know, man. Bro, just, I can't think of any other opening that sounds even close to this, bro. <laughs> this shit is so fire. Yeah, this got in no competition for me personally. This, this is here. <laughs> I'm gonna go Metallic Rogue regardless. Um, let's see. Okay, this one's not the, uh, neither of these are the actual opening, huh? I'm gonna actually look both these. Oh, this is the, is this a uh, Blue Exorcist? Yeah, it's Uber World, it's gotta be. Okay, Blue Exorcist opening, I'm assuming, and Nozo Manu Fushi. Yeah, both these have no visuals. Hold on, let me look this up. Let's see. Alright, so this is the Blue Exorcist new opening. I'm not gonna lie, this looks really good, but for some reason, as someone that really likes Uberworld, this ain't really doing nothing for me, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, hold up, that part was hard as fuck. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, that ain't really doing nothing for me, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why, it just like. I feel like it was good production, the visuals they did their thing. The song overall they you know typically do their thing too but i don't know I just <laughs> i just didn't care look i was just like okay that's cool i guess uh yeah and i watched one of the blue x's openings i think with y'all before and that show was heat like i don't know i like the couple scenes like i really like the scene i don't know how i am i'm just a nut for everybody jumping in the damn air i don't know what it is that shit hard as fuck that shit hard as fuck i'm like hi but yeah i don't know that shit kind of alright. And then I remember this opening, the Unwanted Undead Adventure opening. This shit was gas. This shit was actually a hidden banger, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this part right here is just so clean, man. Like, Salu, copyright has just been crazy for anime recently. So, like, a lot of the 60, the 60 FPS versions are the only ones left. This shit's still fire, though. Oh my god. Yeah, this easily takes it, in my opinion. This joint goes so hard. I'm messing with it. Okay, 
Now we are in the uh, best of 16. Well, top, whatever. You don't even call these semifinals. I don't know. Okay, so we got... These, these ones should go fast since I've already seen all these. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, which one is this again? Hey, what the hell? Oh, this one's had a skip. Never mind, I lied. Okay, let's check this out real quick. Uh, really, the one we just watched, the Unwanted Undead Adventure versus Sokushui... So Sokushichi Gasakio Sugite opening. God damn, I wish she had at least one English title. Let's go. Okay. Song is doing this thing. Let's go. Nah, the vibes are kind of immaculate. I'm not going to hold you. Okay. It looks kind of good. I mean, some of the characters look uninteresting, but it should still look fire, though. Yeah, I don't know. I still, that was cool. I think I like it, especially the beat drop, but I'm sorry. This one next, the Unwanted Undead Adventure, that shit just kind of crazy. All right, let's see. Next we have this one with the crazy ass opening versus this is another one we had to just get for it. Okay. Sensuality, nor core two. So let's... This CGI in this opening is not it, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, this is ugly as fuck what the hell i mean the parts of rcg i look pretty good but this, this is okay it's not bad i just that, that threw me off so bad like hold on this part of the beat is kind of fire though but yeah i don't know there was like some cgi in the other openings just like that what was it called ishara like literally some of the drag and shit but it just looked way cleaner and way more natural and a lot less like something to even point out it was like who cares type moment but this is like this shit was kind of ugly this shit was jarring as fuck i'm like the song was cool but it's not strong enough to carry whatever the fuck this is. Like, I, I'm like, big ass Lego commercial. I don't know. I'm, you know, sorry if you like it. <laughs> I feel you. That's valid. But uh, that just kind of took me out of the experience a little bit. I definitely got this one over it. So, yeah. Let's see what's next, though. Oh, yeah. Shaman King Flowers opening was cool, but it started to fall off a little bit towards the middle for me. Not like it was terrible or anything, but uh, definitely for comparing, I'm going to go with Dangers in My Heart for sure. It's actually not too much of a competition. Oh, we didn't even get to watch the One Piece opening yet. Or at least not appear. You know, I kind of remember it very fluidly. Okay, and this one, I think we saw this. Yeah, seven random anime things. I think I remember this being cool. I don't think it was better than One Piece though, but. Oh, well, I remember this part. This shit was hard as fuck. I don't think it's competing with One Piece at all, but it's still fire though. Oh, this is way more fire than I remember. Oh my god, dog. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this is an amazing opening. It's pretty damn good, but sadly, it got hooked by One Piece. I'm gonna just play it right now just to get it fresh in my mind, but I'm sorry. You know, I don't even watch One Piece, and this shit is just gas. This shit is like, they did their thing, man. It surprised me so much how much quality went into this. Let me stop Glizz and just watch it, though. <laughs> Yo, this song, like... Well, they didn't have to go this hard, bro. <laughs> Bro, in the fade from white to black with the shining on the side of the correlate with swords, man. Fucking amazing, bro. Yeah, for sure. This easily wins. This shit is just gas, man. I don't know what to tell you. Ooh. I'm gonna respect Tsukimichi Moonlight Fantasy by playing it and listening, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Magical opening 2 is obliterating, but let me hear it real quick. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, hold up. Let me shut up. Okay. Now I jump the gun. I jump the gun. This looks kind of heat. Okay. <laughs> Nah, this guy ho, this is fire. This is fire. This game going against the Mashal is crazy, bro. Yeah, this is a good ass opening for sure. I did not think it'd be that good, but I'm I'm still going Mashal though. I'm sorry. Mashal is just they set the bar and it's a bit high in the sky right now. Oh wow. Shangri-La Frontier opening two versus the uh wrong way to use healing magic. I think I'm gonna go Shangri-La Frontier. I think it's kinda close, but yeah, I like Shingy Law Frontier though, actually more, yeah, for sure. Let's see. Metallic Rogue versus... What is this? I don't... Wait, oh yeah. Never mind, this was... Oh, shit. I might actually have to listen to these again, because I'm not going to lie. Like, Metallic Rogues? I wanted to say that, but this one surprised me, bro. This one was kind of crazy, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Aside from a nut thing or two, like, why are these furries boxing out? Hey, that's what you like to watch. That's what's up. You feel me? But, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I think just barely I might have this over Metallic Rogues opening. Like, Metallic Rogues is, is fire as fuck. Like, the, the beginning part is way better than this opening. But, like, I don't know. Like, like this part isn't even bad. That shit hits too. But, like, if I'm comparing, I'm gonna be honest. 
Actually, I don't know. This is still you, though. Nah, actually, it might still be Metallic Rogue. I don't know. They're both kind of close. Like, this shit is fire, though. It's like the vibe is just immaculate. Y'all probably think I'm so crazy. I'm sorry, something just being more popular doesn't instantly give it the pass. Like, this shit's still. I gotta get prosper. Pro I don't really like that part right there, but this part's fire. I don't know what the hell was up with that guitar just now. Uh, <laughs> I, I was like, why well, I started getting a little hardcore for a second, but. Uh, damn. You know what? Since I think both the songs are amazing, I'm gonna go off visuals. The visuals for this are still pretty cool in my opinion, but I'm gonna go Metallic Rogue just off of, like, I feel like, you know, more consistency. But, uh, damn, that was a lot closer. Ooh, for an opening two versus this one. Bro, this opening was surprising, man. My goat. Like, the song sounds so muffled, so you'll probably think, what is bro on? But nah, bro, it's just this version. The actual clear version of the song is fire as fuck. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Cause like consistency-wise, this for sure is way better. The song is amazing for it, and the visuals better. I think the song is better on this though. But like, fuck. This is a vibe. Ooh, the beat drop though. I'm sorry, I'm skipping around so much. I'm trying to get copyrighted, especially by Sony and Aniplex. They be fucking speaking. Yeah, this is beautiful. I'm. I don't know, man. But the fucking song. You know what? If I was just going off song for sure, easily this one, but I'm gonna say when it comes to both, I like to let both come into play whenever it's a hard decision, so I'm gonna go through and but I don't think it's by much, you know what I'm saying? Respect this opening and shit's gas. Shouts out my go Mayu, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out Mythan Royal, go crazy. But alright. Now we are close to semifinals if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, dangers in my heart versus this one? Hold on, let me listen to this again. Hold up. Yeah, I, I like the song more for this one, just about a little bit, but I'm gonna say when I gotta compare it to bar for bar, I'm still gonna go Dangers in My Heart, you know? I don't know if Dangers in My Heart will make it farther than after this, but Frame versus One Piece, this is insane. They're both so, like, so peak, but you can't tell me not One Piece takes it, bro. It's like they're, they're similar, like, just, like, loose animation. Like, this shit just, you know what I'm saying? They out here, they just fluidly smooth it with it, but, like, you know, like... Nah, One Piece is definitely better though. I'm sorry. This shit for sure, like, Freeran put in work. But, like, literally, this One Piece opening reminds me of the Freeran one, but, like, on drugs. Like, they said, let's just add everything we can. Well, actually, now I want to say it reminds me of it, but I don't know. They're both just, like, that bright little uh, art style. Like, the colors, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just both look fucking amazing and inspirational for the characters, but One Piece is just on another level, to be honest. Uh, that Freeran one is still top tier for sure, though, but. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Marshall takes is easy. Okay, are we getting to the speed rounds now or just easy like that? Oh, shit. Metallic Rogue versus this Undead Unwanted. I think I'm gonna go with the Unwanted Undead Adventure. The Metallic Rogue opening is fire, but I really mess with the joint. This joint's a hidden banger. Marshall, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not that hidden of a banger. I'm like, Marshall just. Okay, see, so, yeah, this is where it gets easy. I'm sorry, One Piece easily. Okay, so we're speeding through this shit. And then the finale, all oh, this fucking hurts. This fucking hurts. Should I give this more time, y'all? I feel like, am I just dick right here, Mashal? The song, you're just not even a competition. But this still is like a 10 out of 10 song, though. Well, actually, I'll say like 9 out of 10, but. Man, the visuals for this still blow Mashal off the water. And Mashals are amazing, but. Uh... Ah, bro. The build up for this one is better though. The like, tell me this doesn't just like inspire you. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, my bashful, bro. This is just peak. This is just this peak. No, bro, this shit is crazy. Listen. Nah, I'm sorry. Mashal just wins it off of vibes. Like, One Piece can have second place. Nah, Mashal just obliterates. I, I feel like we came in this video kind of knowing that Soul Leveling was a close competitor. I don't even know what I'd choose Soul Leveling over One Piece. That's interesting to think about. But, uh, I'm sorry, One Piece, you're peak. But, like, th this is like another level, man. This is dead, like I said. 
I can see Mashal being contender for opening the year. And I'm glad our top three is very valid. This would be mine as well. Like, Mashal's opening, so leveling's opening in one piece. I'm really debating though. Would I have one piece or so leveling above one another? That'd be a hard one. Damn. Not gonna lie, I think by a little bit, I might just barely go one piece. I think that's a tad bit of a hot take, but I think one piece would be second place. Soul leveling is amazing, but like y'all know, once it gets to these like god tier openings just back to back, and you gotta compare every single detail, at least for me, how I like to, you know, judge them, edge it out, pause on that, because 2024 kind of crazy, that edging word. But uh Yeah, I'd say definitely I feel like one piece is just like all the way through. Holy shit. Soul leveling is pretty close there, but I think the beginning still builds up a little slow. Not like in a bad way, it's still amazing, but uh if we're comparing your bar for bar, you feel me? So uh yeah, I'd say definitely my top three would be Mashal just fucking goaded one piece and then solo and that's just fine then there's like a whole bunch of other ones that compete and are very close as y'all saw but uh yeah now i have to piss really bad and my nose is killing me my allergies be my ass but hopefully i'll enjoy this video man i know it took a while to get out but just shit just kept coming up and it was taking forever and i was gonna be a bitch trying to copyright uh edit around copyright for this whole thing so really would appreciate y'all sound like but if you did enjoy you want to see some more like this and i'll keep doing it supports there and uh yeah subscribe for some more Regardless, I'm gonna catch y'all next one. Uh, you ever want some extra unedited anime content that's not edited all hell like this video because of YouTube? Check out the Patreon link in the description. You know, check out a whole bunch of fire shows. Violet Evergarden right now. Uh, Full Metal. I'm in the last arc. What else? Like Overlord just finished stuff like that. But yeah. Regardless, all that being said, man, I love y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all next one. As always, make sure you take it easy, go crazy. Peace. Bye.